Hi everybody, this is Melissa from getting on my ducks in a row and it's time for Monday Mingle. Monday Mingle is hosted by Jennifer at 80mileperhourmom.com and I'll make sure to put her button in my post so that you guys can find her too. Each week she posts three to four questions that she'd like you to answer in the form of a vlog and then link back to her site. And the first question this week is what invention would you like to see in your lifetime to make life easier? Now, uh, I just want to show you guys, I've got my apron on. Uh, it is, um, the snow is melted here in Oklahoma. We had a late um, snowfall, and uh, it is pretty warm outside, so I have thrown open my windows, and uh, I'm doing spring cleaning. And one of the things that I would like to see invented in my lifetime is something for dust, something that makes dust impossible to happen in your home. Uh, I have been at it in the living room. And I'm just fed up. I mean, I'm just tired of dust. In fact, I stopped halfway through. I'm just so sick of it. So something to make dust impossible would be wonderful for me. And then number two is who is your BFF, uh, best friend, other than your spouse? And how long have you been best friends? Um, my best friend, uh, her name is Brian, and we have been friends since oh, sixth grade. Um, and... Uh, the second part of that question is what makes that person such a good friend? And I think the, the thing about Ryan and I is that no matter what place in our life that we've been, um, and we've been in a lot of places, and, and I mean like in the in that the sense that whether it was in school, in high school, with boyfriends, with marriages, with children, any of those things, we've always been able to be honest with each other. And I, I think that another thing is, is that no matter – um, how much time has passed? Um, nothing changes between the two of us. It is, um, it's the same rapport. It's the same, um, you know, call in the middle of the night if you need to talk. It, it, it's the same. So I think that that's always been um, the thing that I've always been thankful for with her. So, and number three, what is one area in your home that needs the most organizational help? Um, I'm gonna say the laundry room. That is the. It. We live in a two-story house and it's downstairs. Um, and because it's downstairs, um, it, it's always a mess. It's always, uh, you know, it's out of sight, out of mind. I think that that, that is a probably during my spring cleaning, uh, it was supposed to be a day, but the, my spring cleaning week is what it's turning into. Um, that's going to be the part that I spend the most um, amount of time on because I really would like it to be um, helpful to our family instead of uh, the pit that it is. So. Okay, well, that's this week's questions. Um, again, it's hosted by Jennifer at 80mileperhourmom.com. Three easy questions. Just answer them in the form of a blog and then link back to Jennifer's site. Um, and then go around and visit the other blogs and see what um, they had to say about the questions that were asked. Um, so I'm going to use the second part of my video for show and tell. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. Um, I am enjoying showing you my stuff. Um, I do get a lot in the mail. Um, I do online shopping, but I also, with my blog, um, do a lot of product reviews and giveaways. And um, one of the giveaways that are coming up, uh, I am I am reviewing right now. I'm using today, um, and we'll continue to use this week uh, for um, to, just to try out the product and, and to say what I like about it. Um, and it is seventh generation products, and it was sent to me from my blog Spark um, in seventh generation, and um, they sent me two packages of the seventh generation. 100% um, recycled paper paper towels. I got two of these. Um, I have been using uh, one package, but I am not um, a very big paper towel person. In fact, um, uh, I'm going to say it was a year ago. Um, I completely stopped buying them. And I also stopped buying paper napkins, and I just went to using hand towels, washcloths, and um, real cloth napkins. So I'm having a hard time using them just because I know um, I can do without them. Um, but they do work really well, and I'm glad that they're 100% recycled. That is pretty neat. So, and um, the other thing that they sent me was, um, and I haven't had a chance to use this one yet, but it is um, the disinfecting wipes and a uh, bathroom cleaner. Haven't had a chance to use that one e either. Um, and then a multi-surface um, cleaner. And all three of these products are the lemongrass and thyme scent. Uh, now, I don't usually like a lot of scented cleaners. Um, this is the first time that I've used seventh generation, but I am enjoying the scent. Um, it is not a real strong lemon scent. It's more the scent of thyme, and um, I'm finding that it's very strong when you're cleaning, but it does not leave a 
after odor. Does that make sense? Like usually when you clean, um, especially if you clean with bleach or um, or any of the really strong cleaners, that smell um, permeates your house and it stays. But the time scent, um, I can smell very well when I'm using it, um, and then there's nothing. So I do enjoy that part of it. And it does clean pretty well. Um, I'm enjoying using it. And I'll be having a giveaway on my blog for all of the products that I received. I also got a book with it. I didn't bring that in here, but um, a book about uh, household cleaning and cooking and uh, safe products. So uh, that's that. And then uh, if you've been following my blog, uh, you know that I have been watching Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. I watched his um, video on TED after being sent it from uh, Sarah at Serendipity Sweets. And I am I'm just appalled after watching last night's episode. I am I'm appalled at at what we have done to our children as a nation um, and as parents. Um, the part last night where he cut the chicken and made chicken nuggets and those kids, even after seeing all of the gross things and hearing all the gross things that um, that he was going to put in it, when it was that little shape for them to say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to eat it. You know, I woke up this morning and I turned on that video and I w let my kids watch it and I paused it and let them decide too. And they all said they would eat it. It, it, it makes me so sad to know that. So um, this week I'm going to be doing a few things. Um, I'm going to continue my lunch, um, sending lunch to my, uh, with my kids to school. I'm also going to be putting a fork and knife at everyone's place at the table. Um, it's not really something that we did before, but um, I do think it's an important skill for them to learn. And I'm, I didn't even think about it until he said it in the episode last night, so I'm going to try that. But I wanted to show you guys the easy lunchbox system that I ordered, um, and I was not sent this for free, I did order four um, lunch boxes, and then I ordered two sets of their reusable containers um, on my own, I, I paid for it, so um, the easy lunch box comes, and it's just a regular size lunch box, I mean there's nothing real special about the, the lunch box per se, other than the fact that this fits per perfectly inside, um, and then there's room for their water bottles. There's room for um, a piece of fruit or a snack for after school. So, um, but the thing that I love are these containers because it forces you with the three compartments to mix it up. It forces you to think about um, not only portion sizes, but it also think, forces you to think about variety. And I really like that. So, and um, each one of these sets comes with. Uh, put it on backwards. Each one of these sets comes with four of these, so I ordered two for my four kids. So, um, And I'm, I'm going to, um, on uh, not this Monday, but next Monday, I'm going to post five more um, lunch pictures of what I am sending with my kids. Um, and so if you guys have any ideas about lunches, I really am struggling with sending sandwiches. I, I really would like to step out, you know, and find some more recipes for like pasta salads and things like that. So, um, And also I found out today that um, on Tuesday, they are going to have the Easy Lunchbox Systems uh, on sale for 70% off. So if you guys are thinking about sending um, lunch uh, for your kids to school, that would be a wonderful time to buy them. Um, they were not expensive. I bought four for under $50, and that includes all of these and all of the lunchbox. So it wasn't like it was a, a, a big out-of-pocket expense. Um, if, you know, if you only have one or two kids, it would be a whole lot less, but... You don't want to score everything plus four. Um, so, easy lunchbox. I love them. Um, and then the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about are these right here. Look what came in the mail from Sarah at Serendipity Sweets. Oh, I'm so excited to eat some of these. Um, these are the Easter cake pops. Um, and uh, she did uh, Pete's. Um, but they are cake pops. They are actually cupcakes dipped in white chocolate. They have a little bit of glitter added to them. They are so cute. These are going in my kids' lunch boxes. So. All right. Well, that's this week's uh, video. I'm hoping that this turned out well because um, I'm only doing one take this week, which is kind of scaring me. I usually do six or seven uh, to start off. And then the day that I actually do my video, I do um, – I'm not even going to say how many. It's so embarrassing. But I hope that this one turns out good because I'm going to uh, – I'm going to be using it no matter what. So, All right, well, I will talk to you guys next week. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I thank you for stopping by to watch my video. Bye.